Welcome back to I'm speaking backwards. Welcome back to um to BS Games this is playthrough of Pandrake Z Rusty Bucket Bay. That's where the level two switch is. Now we were just talking about this off camera. You have a superpower. Yes I do. The ability to woo shit. Yep. I'm able to put something down directly next to me in a very specific spot and then find it in a different room when I go to grab it five minutes later. When did you put your phone down? I put it down before I even went to see you. Right. And somehow it's under clothes that you had last night. How? You didn't move the clothes. How did it get under them? You yep. don't understand your powers. Yep. I'm able to have someone the look for something. something. And I'll have looked there four or five times. For example, I'll say, oh, I put this thing on my desk, and I have completely cleared my desk, one item at a time, until it is empty. I do that four times, and when someone comes to look, they'll be like, it's right on your desk, right there. First thing on your desk, it is right in front of you. And I'll be like... I see it now, but it wasn't there before. It's, like, it's incredible. You'll put shit down for two seconds. And like, I'll watch you put it down. And then turn around, do a couple things. And then turn back, and it's just fucking gone. Yep. And you'll be like, where did that thing go? I asked you to hold this memory stick for five seconds and I'm like I don't know where it's gone I'll never know <laughs> you know I can't find this someone else has to find it for me um, you drop it with the crane yeah I know I was just checking because I wasn't 100% certain well I'm 100% certain you're a dork so oh wow fucking mean. got him Please don't say such mean things to me. Um, no, I think I will. I feel like all of those things, like the windows and the pipes, are hard to realise. Oh, you're meant to go in there. Yep. Is this a timer thing? Sure, why not? I don't mind. Nope. Can you kill these things? No. Can you invincibility in the Ow. Nope. Oh shit, heads. Yeah, they're nasty pasties. Sorry Jesus, to, burn. Sorry to use that kind of language. Um, Fuck sake. Yeah, I felt bad when I said it. Can you shoot the dickhead? Yeah, you're right. I have done it. That's what you think. It's like a honeycomb shaped hole. Still pretty easy to miss though. I don't wanna do it. It's gonna melt as soon as I drop it. Yeah. Oh, you're doing it exactly like the, the demo. Stop spinning. That's good enough. 
This part, yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. What? Set me back all the way over here. Yeah. I'm going this thing real quick. That's what I said. I, I get it. Because of words. Yeah. understand how, like tonight, I won't sleep until probably about six again. How the fuck does my body just not realize it's tired? It's, it's a bad environment. It's bad. It's real bad there. Get fucked, idiot. By the way, you've got a taunt here. How many objects? One of you kill them? Okay. That's just a roll of life, really. Yep. Now, some people might be saying, well, if it's an inanimate object. I will no not play it for logic. BS games is not about intelligence at all. If someone says one smart thing, I swear to God, we will boot you off the channel faster than something very fast. Okay, I did it again. This is a haven for morons. Yep. Frankly, if you have an IQ, you can fuck right off. Yep. If you can spell IQ... Oh boy, you're in trouble. We will fuck you right off. There's a good chance they're dumb as dog shit. It's a good way to get fans. Yeah. Just insult them. Well, if they're watching our channel, I assume they're as smart as us. Which means they're Fucking not gonna know hell. when they're being yep. insulted. Yeah, that was... That was... Fucking just to demonstrate a point. I did that on but purpose. But it's a safe place for them. There's no judgment. We don't mind. In fact, we've pretty much stated that we do mind if you're anything but dumb. Speaking about dumbness, I've told you this before. Actually, I think I said on the channel how I went hypo during a test, yeah, and it yeah. made me fucking retarded. Like, I couldn't answer the practice questions. Nice. Yeah. And they're like really easy. There was a bit where it was like spell like this three letter word, I forgot how it was phrased or what word it was or anything, but I remember it was like a primary school level question, and I was like, ah, oh, oh, I can't fucking do it. I get like that with tests. I'm like, 
Oh, I remember this question. I don't remember the answer to it. Like, because I usually well, do practice It wasn't because of that. It stuff. wasn't like stress or something. It's just hypos make you fucking retarded. Yeah, I know, but like, I, I get the same thing as you being hypo with me just being like, Hello, I'm here now. There's no way through there without it, is there? Nope. Sick. Okay. Well, time to do stupid shit. Again. I was so worried I hit my phone again. <laughs> but you do have it. Yeah, it was in my pocket. For a moment, I was like, oh my god. I wouldn't be the slightest bit surprised. No. We'll have to call it at the end of this episode, by the way. It's a time. <laughs> um, 11 past 12. Right. I'm sorry, I lied. It's 12 12. I'm so sorry. I'll, I'll just kill myself now. Yeah, do. I can't believe you would tell such an outrageous lie. How the fuck do I do the shit with this thing? I can't talk back, I've killed myself. Oh, okay. How do I, um, get in the murky water without dying? Don't you just lose air twice as fast? I don't remember. Okay, I pounded from like half a meter off the ground and then I was like half a meter off the ah. ground. Get through those. I think you just need to time it. That is tough and timing. Pray. Cause that was like a millisecond off of perfect timing and it hit me. This is gonna be a rough level. Yep. It's fifteen minutes already. <laughs> This is the hardest bit of the level, though. Yeah, that's true. You've got the boss. Yeah, the box boss, which is... I mean, boxes are fucking intimidating. Yeah, it's pretty scary. Not gonna, not gonna lie, probably gonna shit myself. I am. What are you gonna do when you see the boss? Um, be a bit scared, be like, oh no.
This is gonna cost me all of my lives just trying to get through these fucking blades. Why does it knock me sideways instead of just backwards? Yeah. Because it's a bitch, that's why. I'm so scared of this. So die in a hole. Did it. Dude, another life. You are like the life king. Okay, now if I don't make it to the jiggy, that's just fucking death. Fuck out of here, dude. moment. <laughs> um, oh, he's on Kazooie. He's riding her. He's riding her like a fucking racehorse. Oh, he's going for gold. He's jumping in the water. Oh, he's in the water. Oh, Grunty's saying some shit. Oh my god. Those are words. Um, I didn't pay attention to what she was saying. She was saying that I did the blue socks yeah, yeah, twice as fast. fast. Yeah. Just like I said, that makes me the smartest guy in this room. Um, he's doing some jumping. Oh, he's getting air. He can breathe again. Now he's walking. Do you like this? Yeah, this is fantastic. Thank you so much. Do you want me to keep it up? Yes, please do. Oh, he fell in the water. Then he jumped back onto a box. Now he's pecked. Oh, the tear... The TNT is chasing after him. It has teeth, which makes it even scarier than an explosion. Because what's scarier than an explosion? An explosion dentists. with teeth. And dentists. Can I go in these windows? Yeah, you could be, like, no. really cool. You lied to me. There's some windows that you need to go in. Yeah, but not those brown ones. Well, fucking, you know the FedEx message, what can Brown do for me, or whatever? I don't know it. I don't either, because we don't have it in Australia. But Thanks I've seen for that. it on, like, a thing. On those a TV show. Incredibly constructive. Yeah. Oh, yeah, those th there's those things on the side, too. Love handles? Yeah, those. Ship love handles. <laughs> These ones. Yeah. I was gonna mention them earlier, but I was sure which one it was. I get and I knew you had other shit to do. One Just the last go. level. I know where it is. Well, I don't know what season it's in, but I know where it is. Tuesday, that's what season it's in. Oh, okay. Thanks for the constructive words, Bell. Always. Always one time I've done constructive words. That's a lie, I mean, not. Yeah. Zero times. Okay, 
I'm getting the bitch. Whoa, he getting in a bitch. Nice. Nice. Yep. Speciality. It's just what I do. It is what you do. It's what I'm known for down at the precinct. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, now there are other things in there. I don't think so. Is there other shit in here? Oh. Ah, I was trying to attack. Is that everything in here? I think so. What a fucking waste of time. Yeah, but it's pretty. Actually, no, you're right. It's a waste of time. That fridge should open so it, you can get some fucking soft drink. No. Where's that code? Um, don't you just fucking press it? Yeah, you can, but there's a code somewhere in the level. Fucking who cares? No. No. Three, one, two. Three one two one two. What if it's another one? It was another one, you idiot. Three one two one one. Shit. Um, now it's a three. Three. Damn it. Fucking it. You are so dumb. Why don't you just follow my instructions? It's three one two one one two. You reckon? Yeah, I reckon it's the one again. You're an idiot. Why are you so dumb? I've already told you. It's three one two one one one. Press the two again. I'm tempted to. But I'm not doing it because you're an idiot. Is that the reason why? Yeah. You're not gonna do something just because I'm an idiot. Yep. That's pretty weak reasoning. Oh, you suck. You got killed by a fucking sailor goblin. You got blown by a sailor goblin. Yeah. That's why I say that it's... You suck. It's because you got killed by him. I got a blowjob from him. When you're right, you're right. Well, I've never been right before, so... Dickhead. Got him with some words. Oh, nice. That's sure to hurt his feelings. Classic word got him. Oh fuck, you're in their sleeping quarters. Fucking, you should do the prank that I did once. Where? There it is. Well, you're dumb, aren't you? I already told you the code was 312111. Idiot. Um, you should do the prank in their sleeping quarters where you shave your pubes and put them on the pillow. That was so good. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I haven't told you about that prank. No. Oh. Dude. It was so good. Elaborate. 
so on year 12 retreat um, some guy was being annoying so um, we were like okay I'm gonna shave my pubes and put some on and I didn't bring a razor because like why would I no need to but someone else did so I shaved my pubes and I put them on the pillow and the person laid down in them and I wasn't even in their bunk um someone else but like everyone in their bunk knew that I'd done it except for him and um and they were like that laughing their head off and, he, and he's like what what and then they're like yeah burn there's pubes all over the pillow and he's real mad do i and know he, this person maybe maybe not can you try and tell me in a cryptic way um a ginger oh uh, yeah yeah, and he came and he was like starting to punch me, and I was on I was on a top bunk, so he's climbing up, and I was starting to kick him off, but I was just laughing, and then I was like, oh no, if, if I actually kick him off, he's he might fall and like hurt himself, so I didn't do anything. And by that time, a teacher was like coming over, but he climbed up and he started punching me, and I was just laughing, and he had. A Piss weak punch. Um, but I was just laughing, and the teacher was like, What's going on? And he just stormed off. Don't worry about it, I don't care. <laughs> right? Good story. And um, it, I'm surprised that they weren't like, Wait, how come someone was punching you in the face? And I was like, Don't but they didn't, they didn't care enough to, like, find out, which is pretty weird. Seeing as we're telling stories. Did you? Yes. Fucking hell. Seeing as we're telling stories, I'm gonna tell probably the most annoying thing that happened to me at school. You've heard this story plenty. Okay. Um, so there was this kid in school... Um, he had like a learning disability and he was Aboriginal mm -hmm. and it was year seven and we get called to the office of like the head teacher of our house. It's like me and one other kid and the, I've got to name them. So the special like the kid with a learning disability, I'm going to call him Joe. The other kid who was with me, I'm going to call him Billy. So, me and Billy get called there and Joe's already there. And the teacher's like... Um... Joe just told me one of you two called him the N-word. And instantly the other kid goes, it was Shadow. And so the teacher's just like, okay. And I think, like, the first clue that it wasn't me should have been the fact that, like, that millisecond she said it. Yeah. He was like, yeah, it was Shadow. Because he probably already knew it was coming. And so, the teacher, after that, was just, like, signing this form. And I was like, the fuck? I'm going to read it first. And she's like, no, I just sign it. And I'm like... No, I'm reading the fucking form. Yeah. So, I read it, and it's a thing to quit school. And I'm like, what the hell, I'm not quitting school. And she's like, well, clearly you don't want to be here if you're using that kind of language. And I was like, I fucking didn't, though. Like, I think another clue that it wasn't me is the fact that Joe didn't even know which one of us two said it. Yeah. Like, that should have been like, hmm, maybe he doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. 
anyway, after that, one of your teachers came in, Burn, and earlier in the day, I'd walked past your classroom, and you'd stuck the finger up at me, so I stuck it up at you. And the teacher saw that, and so when the teacher came in, he like, did the most dramatic double take ever. It was clearly a fake as shit. I remember him. Yeah. And he's like, what's this guy in here for? And she explained and he was like, oh, well, earlier he walked past my class and sucked a finger up at him. And then after that, they were like, oh, well, that's all the proof we need to determine that you definitely called this kid the N-word. And I was like, what the fuck? They're not even relevant at all. No. Hmm. Giving the finger to your brother and calling someone at the end. How are they related or Yeah, and then I guess um the teacher must have called Mum or Dad and been like Yeah, he said the N word and they were so fucking aggressive about it that eventually I was just like, fine, I don't want to get expelled, I want to go back to class, if I just admit, can I go? And they were like, yep. So I was just like, yep, it's totally me. Yeah, it kind of sucks, but you definitely should have been. No, that is absolutely bullshit. Like, I, I guess for going like back 20 back minutes, back. they were... Okay. Like, I was only seven. 13, if I had, bullying. yeah, if I had, like, the resilience I have now, then I'd be like, there's no way I'm gonna do it, even if they had been like that for hours. Yeah. But when I was 13, I was just like, fucking, I just want this to end. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, nowadays I'd be like, fine, call upon whoever, call upon, like, you can try and, try and expel me. Try it. Yeah. And that was I the reason why... I, I will get you fucking fired. That was the reason they used work. the form. Because yeah, exactly. they weren't allowed to expel me for that. Yeah. Just because some kid says I called him the N-word. Like, if you could expel people for that, God, everyone would be expelled. Imagine if you hadn't read the form. Yeah. Yeah, because the... Apparently, um, I don't know whether it's Australian or, um, Victorian law, um, you can't expel students, you can only suspend them, but you can make it so that they have to sign, um, you know, a piece of paper to be able to go there, like saying, you know, that they won't do that behaviour again can do that, and if they refuse to sign, you're able to go, well, you're not allowed to sign, but they can't, like, straight up expel you. That was so fucking nuts, though. Because I, like, I feel like I got in trouble for a fair few things, but I always actually did it, except for that one time. Yeah. And they probably should have read your body language and gone... He's bewildered that he is here. He has no idea why he's being called here. Yeah. When I said one of you, uh, one of you has called him the N word, and the look of surprise on Shadow's face clearly wasn't him. I wouldn't be like, well, he must have done it, and he's surprised that he's been caught. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck they were thinking. I think they just didn't like me in general. Us? Yeah. Oh, she had a bug, bug up her ass about me too, so... Yeah. She probably was like, oh fuck, it's Burns' brother. Oh yeah, that probably added to it, because both of us who were cool there, absolutely. like, got in trouble a fair bit. She, she absolutely was a prejudice. And like the thing, the thing that I would get in trouble for the most was not re wearing the uniform properly. Yeah. But it's like, so what if I don't tuck in a shirt? It's fucking uncomfortable for me. 
Like, no one's gonna be like, holy shit. This school doesn't know what they're doing. They let a kid go with his shirt untucked? What? Are they fucking insane? They're all these bastards. uncultured swine. Yeah. It, it By the time I left, weird. they would send people home for black socks instead of the regulation grey socks. Yep, the regulation dark grey. And it's like, what the fuck? Yeah. Black socks probably look better than grey socks anyway. And you can't see gray someone's socks, socks unless they roll up their pants. Like, grey socks probably look like white socks that have had a whole bunch of dirt. They look fucking like, awful. Th those, the grey of those socks was a disgusting grey. Oh, it's so horrible. It, it looked like you'd rolled around in shit. It was like... I can't even think of something horrible enough. Like, if you puked up a rotted organ, that is the colour it would be. People are going to find us based on our sock colouring <laughs> at school, because it's such a specific, disgusting colour. And they're going to be like, oh, these guys only wear a puke-coloured grey, that's not... A good that's enough not, gray. That's not good enough. And because our zero viewers are so obsessed with our lives, yeah. Oh, that's something I've been thinking about lately. So, for some reason, in my um, in my YouTube suggested videos, the other day there was one that was like the real reason why Aaron and John. Yep. Split up. Yep, I got that video too. So. And, um, I was like, okay, I'll maybe, like, check it out. But yep, I didn't check it out, out too. Yeah, the whole thing. And, I can agree. I, I mainly actually checked out the comments. And, from what I can gather, Oh, a lot of people are like, there's like two sides of the fence here. It's like, um, no, not that. It's like, who gives a fuck? Why? It's none of your business. That's one school of thought. And the other is like, they poorly handled explaining what had happened. Um. And I, I think I'm really a fan at the both. Time. And I agree, I'm a, a bit of both. Also, both of us became fans because of NSP. Yeah. So. Like, yeah, I only saw Game Grumps John Tron ones um, by, like, going back and watching old episodes. Yeah, I didn't really like John that much. He's got a very harsh voice, I think. It's like a smoker's voice, really. I Even definitely I don't prefer know that he... Danny. Yeah. I I don't know whether he ever has been a smoker. Um, if I knew more about him and stuff, I would know that, probably. Um, but yeah, he's got a very harsh voice, so he's difficult to listen to. Um, he, from what I've heard, he's pretty rude, like, it, like in his episodes, he's rude, and apparently, from the comments there, apparently he drops the end bomb all the time, and I remember he was, there was some, like, sort of YouTube comments about, like, I don't know, he said something anti-Semitic or something on, like, his Twitter or whatever. The um, thing about that whole Aaron leaving thing, John. It was John leaving, yeah, and whether there was drama between them. Yeah. Um, 
that was a question like five years ago. It no longer matters. They're fine with each other. So yeah, I I'd say one of the things is they probably had like it. It's not up to us to know why. Although, admittingly, you probably would want to get ahead of things and clarify things and they didn't do that and I can absolutely understand why there's like some sort of like NDA but even then they should say like I can't go into the specifics of things but here's a rough idea well, of what's did going you on. watch the video up to the bit where it pointed out why people were like oh there's something going on between them um, I don't really remember. It was a couple weeks ago or something. It was because, like, there was a thing that said, like, fucking something about John in, uh, um, what's that game? I think it's like Mario, Mario 3D World. World or whatever. Yeah, I think it was Super Mario 3D World. Yeah, and they just edited the comment out. Yeah, I th I think um from reading the comments, apparently th other people had gone back, found that post, and found out what it said. Yeah, and it was just something like um bring John back or something. It was like I don't remember what it was about John, but it w it was. But it the was thing just was, it was like it made people suspicious because of Aaron's like sudden change in attitude. Yeah. Where the well, fuck's this ginger? I guess in the moment, he, it probably was like, um, if it was something like bring John back, he might Where's have been like the really ginger? frustrated. I have no idea. He might have been really frustra frustrated because that probably was like most of the comments on these video on their videos. Yeah, and, and I stuff. think it and was, he was probably like, oh, for fuck's sake, not this. I think it was plainly obvious that Aaron got annoyed at all of the people asking about it. Yeah. Well, and mean, like, you get know, pissed off at anybody asking the same question thousands of times. From like, what it I've was heard, the there was an NDA thing. sign. That means he can't give details anyway. And also, I all the time see stuff like, um... Okay, I can't find the ginger. I don't know whether you need to come in through another entrance. There is there isn't another one. entrance into this box? I can't fucking figure this out. Is he in the box? I can't hear him anymore. Yeah, that's weird. Oh, there he is. He just Jeez. shut up for that's some reason. That's so dark. It's hard to see. Um, I remember where one of these is. Oh, I think I know where the other one is what too. What are we on about? Um, I can't remember the point I was going to make. No, I don't know what the point you were going to make last time. Something about the NDA? Yeah. I mean, if there's an NDA sign... Oh, no. It was about, um... I all the time see, like... I saw one thing and some guy was like... I saw John at the E3 on, like, the second day or whatever. And he seemed pretty bummed out, and I had some time to spend alone with him and stuff. And he explained, like, half the shit to me, or he hinted at this, um, to me and stuff. And it's like, where's your proof of that? All the time, I see, like, I saw John down the street, and he called me a faggot. And it's like, where's your proof of that? You can't just make a claim like that. If yeah. you did that in real life, if you did that, say, to a celebrity, and in real life, you'd probably get sued. And I think it was... Because defamation of character. You know, I've got no idea what went on between 
Aaron and John, frankly, I don't care. I think that they didn't have the best chemistry to start off with anyway. Yeah. They don't have as good chemistry as far as I'm concerned as Aaron and Dan. I mean, do you remember the, um, the video of like Nickelodeon, whatever, and Aaron's like, I don't know how to play this game. Could you tell me how to do it? Because you know how to play the game. And John's like, nope, fuck you. And Aaron's like, clearly frustrated. Oh, the versus one where it was yeah. like an Olympic scene. Yeah. yeah, and he's like, I just want to know how to do the game properly. And, and he's like, are you actually mad? And he's like, yeah, I'm actually mad. And he just like laughs. And it's like, okay, that's kind of an asshole kind of thing to do. Like, he said he's really, really annoyed. You didn't even have to tell him how to play it as well as, as well as you. You could just be like, oh, I don't know. Like, hold down the button, try holding down the button longer or something like that. Um, you know, maybe give him a leg up. But, yeah, it's he's just like laughing and shit, and he's like, ha 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 ha. And I feel like Aaron and Dan don't do that. There was something I was saying, and I don't remember it at all now. Yeah. Fuck, this is such a long level. Yeah. 47 minutes. Oh shit, I can't go up. Hang on. What was I saying before you started talking? Fucking I don't know. I fucking oh. started talking years ago. Yeah, I know when you talked forever, so I completely forgot. Yeah, well, it's what I do. It's what I get paid to do. No, it isn't. You don't get paid to do shit. No, I pay myself. Oh, okay. There was something, I said something like, I don't care about what's going on between Aaron and Dan, but there was something more, there was a point I was going to make. You mean John and Oh, I remember. And yes, I do mean John and Aaron, I don't know what I said. Yeah. Um... Fuck! Hang on. I remembered for a second there, and then you said you mean John and Aaron, and I, I thought forgot. you'd continue your thought anyway. Um. Oh my god. What was I saying? Something about it, you don't care. What yeah. happened between the two? Was it something because they get along? Oh, I remember. Okay. So the comments. The comments always said shit for like a year. It was just non-stop spam of when's John coming back? Why's John leaving? Stuff like that. Yeah. And that annoyed me. Right? Yeah. And I'm not Aaron, so I can't imagine how fucking annoying it was for Aaron, who was actually involved. Yeah, exactly. Like, maybe it annoyed me because I didn't watch John's stuff. Yeah, sure, maybe that happened. Or maybe it annoyed me because it was it's like just the fucking, fucking let same it go. comments they have every essentially fucking video for a year. Exactly. It's like, if they haven't said before, why are they gonna say now? It's, yeah, I'd love to know what's going, what happened or whatever. Just because I can't swim up. It's natural to be curious about people, people's lives that touch yours. It's the exact same sort of thing with like celebrities, like people finding out who's dating who and stuff. Even though it's like. It doesn't really... They're not involved in your life at all. But you watch their movies. So you do. 
and so they are involved oh my in God, your life it's so hard to swim up in this level because the camera doesn't move with you yeah and so there's some times where you literally can't go up um but it's even more so for internet personalities which you already feel like there's one filter removed because they're not hugely famous and rich um and another level where you're like you see their content more than like a movie makers right so i get it i feel like maybe if they did things i think nowadays if the same thing had happened they'd probably deal with it differently um maybe releasing some information but at the time they probably thought that they would never have gone through something like that before they wouldn't have known how to deal with it and they probably thought let's try and put some space between us and then they might have even the way i would have handled it is i would have gone let's Where put some space box? between this and then i can explain it but they never got that space because everyone every day was like where's john john come back and it's like fucking grow up yeah i can't like, remember how to get that number token i think it would have been fine if they did that for like a month yeah right? a month of missing him is fine but it was so fucking long and it it was like always both the newest comments and the most upvoted comments. Yeah. And it's like, oh man, I don't give a shit. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're gonna really make a change because the 270th time that someone has asked, I want John, John back, they're gonna go, you know what? Um, bagel lover sixty nine four twenty. You're right. I'm getting him back. Who cares about all of this documentation that we've signed? Who cares that we've How got other stuff going on? The um, oh, for fuck's sake! Okay, I'm gonna go down and talk to him. Any clues? No. Just get it off him, okay? Easy. Done. Um, pretty sure there's a button I mean, somewhere yeah, in the ship, but probably I don't know. Button, but I also need a ginger on four notes. None of these are things you can enter. I think it's in here somewhere. Get in the fucking pipe. How long has this been going? 53 minutes. I hate this song. It's not in this one. I can tell already. Well, seeing as you're such a genius, tell me where it is. I think maybe the front of the ship you may have missed a pipe to go into okay i'm going to the front of the ship this level sucks ass yeah it does Like with Mad Monster Mansion, the main thing that annoys me is the fucking secret windows and shit, and this one has like 37 of them. Nope, that's just the kitchen, there's nothing in there. So, secrets in the ovens? No? No. Nope. Okay. Fucking fuck this 
level. Maybe there was like a wind effect up. Maybe. There'll be definitely be more windows on the bottom. I don't know. Gonna check soon. This level. <laughs> You're just gonna keep on saying that. No. What do I need? Four notes. A one Jinjo. With the dolphin. And dolphin. So there's clearly a place that I haven't been. It should have an anchor. Ginger. It's here. No, no, it's been in there. Checking on all the fucking beds at this point. Where the hell is it? Crates. There's nothing in the crates. Fucking mm -hmm. use. There's a ginger over there. He's under the thing. I know he is. Yeah, I feel like maybe that pole might do something. Oh, no. I still think it does nothing, but we'll see. Is it the six? Yeah. This is nearly gonna be need to be a two-parter. Yep. Or it's just gonna be a fucking long video. See, look at it. Oh, yeah, it just doesn't like just get across there. I'm still gonna hit it because I've got nothing else to do in my level that I can find. Have you done both creams? Yep. One was a boss, one's just a jiggy. Thanks. 
Who knows, maybe it's a secret advantage, maybe it's that building that I put in there at the end. Is it in there? Doesn't look like there's an entrance to that building. There isn't. What's this? I think there was just an ice or something there. It's nothing. Is there something you can swim under? Under the boat? Doesn't look like there's anywhere I haven't been on the boat. I don't understand. Where is it? I'm so confused. I don't know what to do. Yeah, I'm having a look. Follow the chain up into a hole. You climb up the chain. Are you fucking pissing on my dick? No. Turn around, Banjo. Almost there. There you go. Somehow get into it. Here. It's kind of shit that they don't get you into it. Here. Quite shit. Do you know where the yellow ginger? Oh, yellow ginger yeah. snacker. Yeah. Swim into the hole of the warehouse on the right. So that was where a thing was. And then use the flight pad on the opposite side of the room. I knew that's where a thing was. There's a honeycomb switch. Go down, Banjo. Yes, he made down. What an absolute travesty. Yep, 
I know, I can't see where the hole is. Is that it down there? Yeah, I think so. So unclear. Yep. You're gonna get fucked up, Mr. Floaty. You may have saved my life every time I swim, but not this time, so... Okay. Fuck. Just wanna end it. Your life, you mean? Yes. This is really pissing on my dick. Got it. Okay, that's the end. Yep, that's the end. See you guys. Bye.